This is Crystal of We Are Magic, and this is another episode. I have the Bonneral Beats playing in the background because <laughs> I'm just in the fuck out. Um, I want to discuss how to find out who your higher self is. There are a lot of spiritual people out here that are still in the worship and fear mode, and I just cannot even, so <laughs> we're going to discuss this. Um... I found out who my higher self was when I was still religious. <laughs> I know, right? It's crazy. Let me turn this volume down. Yeah. So basically, um, I, my higher self just kind of took over my life. Um, I guess my higher self was done with the fear propaganda and seeing me just destroy myself. Because in all actuality, with the religious folk, remember when Jesus said, ye are gods well in english that means you are gods modern english so he was trying to awaken everyone now the council of nicaea they added some things you know because whatever but there were still gnostics that helped construct the bible okay and they still added the jewels and the wisdom drops that we all need you know in order to function so basically when he said ye are gods he was telling them you are gods um and he says it says in your book i mean he was letting them know like in your religion you're not even doing this right because the bible is nothing but a bunch of channelers who were not clear channels and decided to say god told them and people believed it because they were scared i don't see a lot of that on youtube right now um but basically ye are gods you are gods okay an energy cannot be destroyed all right so with that being said you just learn your lessons and you just reincarnate and either you come back here or you come back to multiple dimensions or different planets or whatever star systems whatever you want to call it we are having a human experience right now as you're listening to this podcast to clear up all karmic debt paid in full As I say, you know, Jesus paid a price, paid it in full. You know, he went to the cross for you. (laughs) He came here to stop people from killing, you know, their firstborn sons, um, killing animals, you know, because they wanted God to love them. And that's just not how source operates. That was a man-made evil thing because life is in the blood. Of course, if you lose blood, you die, right? So it's very ritualistic. And I hate to say that, but it is. It's all ritualistic, you know. The communion once a month at a certain time, you know, it's just very ritualistic. Everything's pagan and they're just playing everybody because if they keep people in a state of perpetual fear that they are less than, then they control them better. If everyone were to wake up to their higher selves and realize they are the sleeping giants, that they are the ones who incarnated here thousands, thousands, maybe millions of times you've been here. And the reason why earth is so hard is because of, you know, we feel the pain, we feel the hunger, we feel the emotions when we see someone hurting, you know, we go through these things to show source what it feels like to operate as a human being, having a human experience, okay? So to find out who your higher self was, this is how I did it, and it was an accident. Again, my higher self led me out of church. I was one of those every Sunday, every Wednesday, you know, Bible study, beat you in the Bible head person. That was me. I've read the entire Bible. I've read lost books. I've read the Apocrypha. (laughs) The list goes on and on. Okay. So I know about religion. I know it. I lived it. I lived it for like 40 years of my life. I lived it. I lived the fuck out of religion. You hear me? I was okay with, you know, being miserable and scared, scared that God would hate me. I was so okay with that. And when I look back on it now, it's just crazy that I believe that stuff because (laughs) it's just not how this stuff works. It's a very beautiful system set up. So what I did was um, one full moon night. It was a wolf moon. It was in July of 2020. No, 2019. Sorry about that. And I was looking at the moon and I could just feel this love coming from the goddess. Do you hear me? I felt so much love. And I said, I invite my higher self to take over my life. 
And then later on that night, I was posting a video for YouTube and all of a sudden my phone decided to take a picture of me, flash one and all, stop the video and everything, literally in the middle of making a video. And I was like, oh, what? That's weird. So I go to delete the video and see what picture was taken and I could see eyes above my eyelids. Scared the crap out of me. Do you hear me? Again, I'm still religious at this time. Still worshiping Yah, still scared to death Yah hates me, you know, stuff like that. It was so awesome. Yah is one of my spirit guides that was trying to wake me up also. And I will never forget, I was reading a Bible religiously one morning, and I saw Yah say, I never wanted human sacrifice. I never wanted blood sacrifice. I just wanted to have a relationship with you. And I could read it and feel it like that was truly the spirit of that person or that entity, right? I was like, oh my God, you hate religion. This is stupid. That's why he said, I don't celebrate your feast days. I don't, I despise them. I despise, it's just, it's so ritual. It's not what we're here to do, okay? You can have feast days. You can have a religion. You can believe in God and believe that you're going to go to hell. I honor your experience. But with that being said, if you feel like something is off, something isn't right, that you feel like you have more of a purpose, keep listening. Well, I invited my higher self. And of course, my higher self took over that day. (laughs) I mean, that night instantly. And that's when I went through the dark night of the soul. I had a whole Kali Yuga situation happen in my life because... Callie could see what was literally killing me and what was holding me back. And you know what it was? Myself. It was me. So I get why they say you got to kill the ego because you literally don't kill the ego. The ego, the shadow, your inner child, you, it's all one person. Um, you know, there's no villain to blame. Of course, there are horrible people in the world. And, you know, again, they're source too. That's the hardest part to think about this. But you literally got to see it this way so you can have a peace of mind. Every, and you're like, what? The pedophile was source? Again, your plants, that dung beetle that's pushing dung to <laughs> whatever, the cat that's on your lap, your puppy sitting over there in the corner, your husband, your ex husband, your ex wife, <laughs> person that broke your heart in middle school and in high school. This is all source. We're all one right? You have a body, you have a head, you have hands, you have fingers, you have toes, you have organs. They're all attached to what? You, because you are the source of your body. You're the one that's keeping it going. Okay. So, you know, see source like a supercomputer, like an energetic brain that, you know, is controlling all aspects of the multiverse. Okay. All star systems, all galaxies, all realms, all, all dimensions. Okay. And That's how you have to see every living creature. And you can't be like, oh my God, because I was the same way. Like you see something horrible happen and you're just devastated and you're, you know, you're pissed off for injustice and you, you want, you just want the world to operate in a better place. And it's like, it doesn't. And it's just the way it is. You know, you have positive and negative. You have light, dark, dark is not bad. Remember, everything is energy. Okay. Protons, neutrons, electrons. I mean, we have all of the tools we need to win at this life. But the problem is they have conditioned us and programmed us to believe that we are just slaves. (laughs) That we are literally slaves. That we are just worthless humans. And if we hate life, if we hate the earth, if we hate everything, then we will get into the kingdom of heaven. And it's bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. So what you want to do is set the intention. Now, here's the thing. Everything is words and energy and emotion. Okay. So when you say something, you have to believe it with all your heart and soul. You got to feel it. You got to experience it. You got to know for a fact that once you say is truth and law, even when you write stuff down, every time we write something down, we are like creating a law. Okay. This is how powerful you truly are. If you are constantly thinking of something and worrying about something and it manifests into your life, you can't say, oh, I knew this was going to happen. A lot of times we speak this stuff up. So instead of speaking, you know, negativity, destruction, death, sickness, depth in your life, um, brokenness, start speaking 
positivity in your life, growth in your life, success in your life, health in your life. Do all of that because we did it the other way. And the CIA came out with it. Manifestation works. It's a true thing. It's a real thing. They, they, delete, have been using this for a long time. And which is why they are so successful. And they teach their children that. And they teach it in private schools and Ivy Leagues. And they teach all these things. And they teach, you know, the public education system something completely different. So all I'm saying is you have the power. You are God. Okay? Remember when Yeshua said, everything I do, you can do and more if you have faith the size of a mustard seed. He was trying to tell you, he knew you would make him God. He's an ascendant master because he came here as God, just like you came here as God to try to wake people up. And you may feel like you have this destiny and this high calling on you. And you're like, oh my God, I just feel like it's just more than just going to work and going home. There's more in my life. I feel like I'm missing something. Ask your higher self to come into your life. Ask for the highest guidance for any solution to get you to where you need to be. Okay? So the thing is, you got to believe it. And when you say it, you truly got to believe that it's happening. You set your intention. Just like when someone sends a curse or negative energy on you, and you go, I've returned it to, to the sender where it attaches to them until they learn their karmic lesson. When I say stuff like that, I fully mean it. And it works because I'm fine. Um, a lot of times you can set the intention as source creator that anyone who attacks you is attacking themselves because we are all one in source. Because you are out here leaving living a life of dharma you're not trying to destroy anybody you're not raking up any karmic debt you're literally just out here representing your ancestors and being the best that you are so if someone is coming for you and you are not out here doing horrible things karma comes upon them instantly horribly because you know who you are but you have to wake up and realize that you got to get out of the victim mentality and act like you don't have control over your life you do you do. You just don't have control outside experiences. You don't have that control until you get really powerful. And then, you know, you can really cause some things to happen and shift in the collective. And it's more than saying, I call in the light. I mean, it's so much more than that. Okay. Those people are deflecting. There's nothing wrong with calling in the light because you are light. You are source. You are energy. All right. Nothing wrong with calling in your power and calling back your power and doing things like that. But just saying this, doing lip service stuff, it's false light. It's false religion. It's a tactic again. And, you know, you have this group of people out here that pushes fear and this, these agendas and stuff. Now, I'm a conspiracy theorist, but my, I'm a conspiracy realist. <laughs> because everything I know is proof. I mean, it's happened. It's the truth. We're not making stuff up, you know. We know that they used... The Tuskegee Airmen for certain situations and vaccination experience. We know we know what they do when they go to different countries and give people vaccines and Ebola breaks out. I mean, we know this. We've seen it. Okay. And if you can know that deep in your heart about what the government is doing, why can't you know how powerful you are and what you're worth and what you need to be? Just believe it. That's all you got to do. You got to know. Which energy do, am I attracted to? Is it Zeus? Do I have a tattoo of Athena on me? Do I love Medusa? Do I love Shiva? Do I love Kalima? Do I love Hecate? Like, is there an energy that's attached to you that you feel talks to you and pushes you and works with you? Ask your ancestors and your spirit guides to help you. That's why they're there, guys. They're literally sitting right beside you and all around you like, what do you want us to do for you? We're just staring at you. What, what do you need us to do? You know, I mean, they're doing the bare minimum, their reasonable responsibility, which is like keeping you out of trouble and stopping you from hurting yourself. But <laughs> there's so much more. Ask them for That's why they're here. You handpicked them. You chose them to help you and assist you on this journey. Okay. All you have to do is set the intention that I want to invoke and embody my higher self to the fullest possible timeline. And that I am ready to step into my purpose as source creator, having a human experience. 
your higher self will reveal themselves. I promise. It will be this one energy or several, because I have several. I have one oversoul, my highest 